Are yeah. you ready, Pete and Ore? Yes. Go. Go. Stop the stopwatch. Okay, so that took us uh, one minute and 14 seconds yep. to basically get to go clean, crunch, higher gain, delay session yeah. that we like. So next, GT1000. Ready? Go. So 16 minutes and 11 seconds. Thank you. Okay. Hey. The head rush now uh, One, from head rush. Uh, the head rush from head rush by head rush. <sighs> head rush, uh, man. From head rush. Oh. Um, are you ready, Pete and Ore? Yes, I am. Clock Please. starts now. We 12 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay. 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 Atomic amplifier. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. you ready? It's a little screen. Yes. On your marks, get set. Shit. Make a clean sound. Bake. So uh, 2020, we'll do 2020. So let's do 2020. Uh, anywho. Line 6 Helix is next. Ready to start. On your marks. Get, get set. set. Bake. Go. Bake. Bake. That was 10 minutes and three seconds. Here's the run through of No Speaky Speaky. Going to do the guitar amp with the three layers of distortion, a bit of delay on the end with Pete playing. Perhaps we'll just get like a, a minute of each. And then each of the three units, again, what you'll hear first of all will be their clean sound and then the pedals as I sort of add them in. So Pete, Mr. Maestro player, please. Let's start with the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with the Lightspeed, the Angry Charlie AT and the MXR Carbon Copé. Andy, Ch Andy Charlie? Andy, Andy Charlie. Charlie, he's a different one. <laughs> GC1000. GC1000. Clean. Distortion.
sorry. I, it, <laughs> That's all right. It's all right turned you off at the yeah, end there. It's cool. Fine. Last one. Last beat. Well, what can we objectively say about this demonstration? <laughs> so okay. There you go, go on. Well, I was going to say, the two, firstly, uh, hearing an amp in a room versus hearing modelers through um, monitors is fundamentally a, diff a very different experience. Yeah. Um, and I, I would just, I don't necessarily have a meaning good or bad. I just mean as in it does feel different being in a room with an amp to being in a room with Play, monitors. Playing it feels completely different uh, but you have to get used to it yes. when you switch the sound over it feels in the room like the real guitar amplifier always is a bit more immediate like and, yeah and of, it's, you know, a bit, it's a bit the clean tone is not as nice yeah it doesn't have that more studio kind of vibe to it does yeah, it yeah well this is all but of these have got yeah. recorded i don't you know that's it, it we'll takes see. on a different characteristic yeah um, I think the speed with which we were able to find the tones that we liked was absolutely indicative of the operating systems on these. So I think you have to hand it to Helix again, which I think we've said relatively consistently through all these things that, that, yeah. that it is it's very, very intuitive. intuitive. It's very, very intuitive. Head Rush really is fun to use as well it, it, it perhaps because he's got that thing from we know from ipads and yeah, iphones and yeah. android phones and all that stuff you just got you have you got you were clicking on it like you were trying to click yeah, on this yeah, screen yeah. yeah and that doesn't work you know? yeah the amplifier i think is is probably felt the uh most fiddly to use it's very fiddly and, and, um, and the software it might be a little bit outdated it's not as intuitive to use yeah. same with the boss a little bit but it's, the, the it's, but it's much I'm... easier when you when you used to mm. it used it's easier with a computer than it was with the with the yeah. app yeah yeah but then again you don't have your computer with you but you can do it with the iphone I mean, oh, the, bo the boss is the boss is the one that that kind of I'm most disappointed with the operating system. You know, f with the amplifier, yeah. you kind of go, you know what, look, it is it is um, it is a slightly older product. It's quite a lot cheaper. You know, you sort of end up yeah. sort of going fine. And it's not that the, it's not that the operating system is difficult to understand. It just, 
It's just the layout makes things a bit more fiddly to get where you want to get to. I do rather like as well the fact that, that both on the Helix and the Head Rush, even when the uh, effects are off, you've still got the faint colours. colour indication of what they're going to do. I think on... you can do that on the bus. You can change the colours. No, but they're, then not, you can, they're not... You, you can have them on slightly, I think. Oh, you can, can yeah. you? Yeah, okay, there is, I, I mean... I don't there, know that. No, because I, 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 I was into the... Okay. Uh, into the... to update it earlier, and there's yeah. a whole thing where you can... You can change all the colours, and I think you can have them dim, dim oh, the okay. lights and have them right. more on. If, so, that, if that's the case, then yeah. fair enough. I think it's and got all of that. And obviously, the atomic again, you just have to, you know, you just have to remember just got a red what, light. what, what yeah. yeah, just on or off, and you just have to remember what they are. Yeah. We should say one of the things that we, um, you can't do on the atomic, or we had to kind of um, like have a bit of a workaround. You, you, there is only one distortion pedal block. In the effects change yep. on in the effects chain on here. So although you can have lots of different distortion pedals, well they call it the boost pedals, but that's effectively what they are. Yeah. What we what we weren't able to do was have um, like our Timmy style boost pedal on four and our Angry Charlie boost pedal. Yeah. What we had to do was put a mild. We had to sort of have a mild distortion uh, setup, and then what we used the second pedal for was to put like a, a pre-gain boost in front of that. So it do, one of the effects blocks in Amplifier is just like gain, is just a level boost. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can drive the pedal harder. I hope this is making sense. So I think what I would do if I owned the Atomic though, is I would make use of the effects loop because what you can do is just go and get your favorite distortion pedal, put it through the effects loop and then assign where the effects loop is in the yeah, chain and then, and then one of these buttons just turns yeah. that on and off. Yeah. If you were going to force me to have one of these and it was money, no object, <laughs> I still think uh, the full-blown full blown Helix. Helix. Because it's got the features of, of you can plug a microphone in there, you can have mm. like two, you can have a guitar and a bass and you can have you know a singer, a bass, guitar, you can yeah. have all sorts of stuff and route that out to stuff. I just, I just like the really. fact that the full-blown Helix tells you underneath uh, each button what what you're going to get like which i suppose headrush, the headrush does, does that again uh, that was probably my my two surprises were i thought the atomic sounded great as in yep. didn't really think the atomic sounded cheaper than the other three uh and the headrush sounded a lot better than i remember it sounding when we did that demo Firstly, way back yeah when but this is um you pick one of these, uh, you know, I've got a Helix, I, I think it's a great unit. Yeah. Um, but the only reason, I, the only concern, I'm not concerned, but my only thing is that it's so big and heavy. Well, that, that yeah. I suppose, and is, I, I, is and potentially I, where GT1000 scores, yeah. um, and even maybe uh, Amplify scores. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if it's I like, like the, you want it so really if, tiny. If, if you want to choose between these two, I'll choose that, because you've got the, the, the feature of the Bluetooth, it's very easy to do. Mm. You've got a wah feature, so you don't have an extra wah pedal, volume yeah, yeah, pedal. Yeah. You got the lights on here, you know. Yeah, but, I can see the display. So there you go. Look, anyway, um, did we? I think we we kind of roughly ish. This was about five. I think we did. The, this was about five hundred. Yeah. And the other three were all in that sort of eight, seven or eight hundred. I think it would be really useful if you guys would <laughs> in the comment section below. Yeah. It, um, if you if you really liked or disliked something, put that in a, like a constructive comment that we can read rather yeah. than you know just. Don't like, just go. Oh, me, 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 fizzy shit, me. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. So not, not big, that big, any of you, big, talk you know, that. because the, <laughs> because there are you know there are really places for these and mm. it, it is it's it's that's just you know so there we are. It's getting get better and better and better all the time. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I you know, hopefully, and now I've uh, you know, you guys <laughs> have been see that that, that yeah, <laughs> you're climbing um, up a little bit. Yeah, that I've I've perhaps come up in the estimation of some of the people that love these kind of. Products. But you still have pedals on an amp. But I still have pedals. Uh, if I, I'll probably have that as well. But I mean, but I'll I they all got a place. Hey, the hammers. You need those are hammers to do one job. You can't do one job with one hammer. You have to have more tools than one tool. So right. thank you so much for watching. I've been the captain, and I was uh, Pete Danes Pete. You were who? Pete Danes Pete Pete Danes Pete Pete Pete. See you next time. <laughs> what? Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.